Let's talk about Infinite Painter 7. Infinite Painter got updated to version 7 with many new features and changes. First thing you'll notice is this home page, it's changed completely. We've got all the new features mentioned here. Some kind of user manual, and an artist spotlight. In the home menu you've got all the recent projects listed here, and here is all your previous projects. To create a new project, you need to go to home, you've got three options here, using from image option, as the name suggests you can start your project from an image. Using the pattern option you can create amazing patterns. Using blank canvas option you can create your canvas as you wish, they've added many options now. You can use these presets, there are more than 30 of them. You can select one of these options to change your canvas DPI manually. If you disable this you'll get transparent background without any color in it. Here you can change color of your canvas. You can add textures to your canvas from here as well. You can change color mode here, they've added many options here, like colorblind, grayscale, etc. It changes all the color depending on the option you use, as you can see in this picture. They've added more options to time lapse function as well, now we can select more resolutions to record. They've changed the interface little bit, they added the home button here and undo, redo button in the same side now. They've separated these two options, now we can access them directly from outside, and we can switch between them just by swiping left or right. Now, you can restore your old saves of your projects even after you close them completely. Let's say you're working on a project, you save them and work on the same project next day then after working on it for a while, you save it again, then you realize, you've messed up all the work last time you worked on it. Now, you can restore your old saves and correct your mistakes. We can now group multiple layers just by pinching them just like Procreate. It will help and organize multiple layers very much. Now, they've added new mask feature as well. Using mask on any layer you can erase content in it using the black color and bring them back using the white color, you cannot do that without mask option, and we can add mask to these groups as well. Now, we can add adjustment layer as well, you can select any option here. It will affect all the layers below it only. These two layer mode will reduce our mistake of drawing on the wrong layer. The solo mode only shows the selected layer. The trace mode lower the opacity of all the unselected layers. Now we can blend different colors without destroying our main layer. Just enable this option and do all the blending on blank layer above the main layer. They've added three new options in the brush settings, wet edges, glaze strokes and this orient to screen option. Now we can select any color from the reference image just by tapping on it. Now we have more exporting option in Infinite Painter. These are all the major changes I found. If I miss out something let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.